Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. Now, I've been seeing a lot on the internet about uh, Tyson Chicken and some kind of a boycott that's taking place. Caught my eye, looked into it, and apparently they've been accused of offering jobs to 40-some-odd thousand illegal immigrants. And uh, that's not all. At the same time as uh, saying they want to hire these people, apparently they're closing plants and laying off American workers. What the heck is going on here? Thanks for sticking with us. Oh man, what am I supposed to say about this? It's so crazy to think of an American company firing or laying off American workers and then saying, well, we want to take a 40 some odd thousand of these uh, these people that have come across the border illegally and have them work instead. Absolutely bonkers, right? Well, I thought so too. But um, I go and I look into the articles and I've got this from Fox Business. Uh, apparently they've got something, a statement from Tyson themselves. It says Tyson Foods employs 120,000 team members in the U.S., all of whom are required to be legally authorized to work in this country. We have a history of strong hiring practices and anybody who is legally able to wel- is welcome to apply into the open job listings. Um, I, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like... My, my, now, I'm, I'm going to say this is anecdotal, but, um, you know, I have been around places where they have these Tyson uh, chicken plants, and my experience and the things that I've heard from people there is that they have absolutely no problem hiring illegals. In fact, they get raided all the time, and, uh, yeah, so I, I don't know uh, I don't know if that's entirely accurate. I'm sure that they're trying to avoid legal problems. But uh, that's not the only news outlet talking about this. And I thought it was interesting that Fox put out that statement from Tyson saying it's not true. But uh, here from Bloomberg, we have a different story where they're actually talking about uh, the same thing. It says Tyson is hiring New York immigrants for jobs no one else wants. Now, they've they've kind of twisted the, uh, I guess, the headline so that it sounds a little bit better. It's jobs that nobody wants. I mean, you don't want a job. You don't want to get paid, whatever it is. This is a job that nobody wants, so we're going to give it to illegal immigrants. So there's a meat packer to seek 52,000 employees this year for factory jobs. Uh, Venezuela, Mexico, Colombia migrants hired for Tennessee plant. So if you live in Tennessee, I guess that those are just jobs that you don't want. I mean... Uh, you, you get. I, we all have the luxury at this point because the economy is so incredible. You'll have to tell me, is the economy incredible? Uh, my experience is that it's not. But apparently it's so great that nobody wants these jobs anyway. So we'll just give it to people from Venezuela, Mexico, Colombia, migrants. Um, I'm starting to notice something. So they said something about this being for legal, anyone who's legally authorized. I suspect that our wonderful federal government has something uh, they're, they're kind of working with Tyson right now so that uh, these people that are being housed in all these weird projects or facilities that they've got can legally work and they're going to go work for Tyson in Tennessee apparently um, never mind all of you who uh, but yeah those are jobs that nobody wants so it doesn't really matter but I thought that was interesting. So they, uh, they're they saying that. I've got uh, the Daily Mail saying something similar. Tyson Foods boycotted as it sacks 1,300 staff at Iowa Pork Plant and offers job and lawyer packages and bid to hire 42,000 asylum seekers in New York. Now, I, I find it interesting that Tyson didn't come out and explicitly say that they weren't doing this. They just made that statement about, oh, well, we only hire people that are legal. Uh, this is interesting. So they're offering you know, 42,000. I mean, give me, uh, there's got to be some people that would take those jobs. I mean, w- there's people that want to have some kind of dignity and say, I'm putting food on the table for my family. I don't know. Just my thoughts. Maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong? But uh, yeah, I don't believe Tyson Foods. And uh, well, I'm going to say I'm probably not going to be buying. I had a bag of their chicken nuggets that I bought. Uh, my son likes them. I, I probably won't be buying from Tyson. And that's not the only uh, brand. The Daily Mail comes through with a list of the companies that they have here. We have Jimmy Dean, Hillshire Farm, Ballpark, Wright, 
Idels, and you know, there's other ones as well. But those are probably the big ones. So if you want to, you know, they have those advertisements about how summer doesn't start without the ballpark uh, hot dogs. Forget about them. <laughs> Don't get them. Get something else. They're crap anyway. But uh, Hillshire Farms, Jimmy Dean, if you want to buy that sludge sausage that they have, um, yeah, probably avoid those, apparently. So ju just in case you're wondering, I myself am probably not going to be buying their products now because this is ridiculous. This, I mean... Think of the outrage that people had just because people, these companies were, you know, doing advertising with woke people and all of that stuff. This is literally like we're going to get rid of American workers at the same time as, you know, hiring all the migrants. Um, I imagine there's going to be some outrage. So, yeah, count me into the boycott. I don't believe Tyson Foods one second. And even if they are hiring people who are legally able to work, there's probably working something out with their friends in the government so that uh, they can legally hire illegal workers. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, yeah, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to be buying this uh, this stuff? Jimmy Dean, Hillshire Farm, Ballpark, Wright, Adels, and any of the other brands that are associated with Tyson Foods? I'm not. I'll see you guys in the next one. Fai <laughs>